everyone, it's Alma with the Cat's Pajamas, and today I want to show you how to create this card using a little ink, water, and a bit of acetate. I'm not sure what this technique is called, so I'll call it the watercolor smooshing technique. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Start with a bit of acetate and use dye ink. I'm using Marby Brilliant Yellow and just smear the ink across the acetate. Take a second color, I'm using Marvy Orange, and do the same. I don't want as much orange, so I'm not putting down as much as the yellow. And finally, the third color. I'm using Marvy Rosemary. And give the ink a bit of a spray. If there are any places you want to blend, Use your finger to lightly mix the colors. Now let's apply the color. I'm using watercolor paper that I'm brushing all over with water. This will let the color move and blend. Now turn over the acetate with the ink and apply it to the watercolor paper. Press lightly to transfer the color and lift off the acetate. If you have any pools of water, blot with a tissue. And if you don't want to blot, you can use your heat tool to dry it. Now looking at this, I think I want more yellow. So I'll just apply yellow to the acetate, spritz, and apply to the paper where I want it. And blot off any pools of color. I'm going to dry this paper off a little bit just to see what the color really looks like. Now I think I want a little bit more pink. So I'm going to add it to the acetate. And spritz a little bit. And apply it where I think I want more pink. Now you notice this isn't spreading very well. So I'm just going to take a brush with some water. and blend it down with a bit of water. Now I'll dry it with my heat tool. As the centerpiece of this card, I'm going to be using the spring wreath die. I think this background is a great background for this pretty spring wreath. And I think this card could use some texture. So I'm going to be using the small spatter from the Watercolor Basics stamp set and the Rosemary Marvy ink. Just in the corners. I like how this looks. Now I could use a brush to spatter the ink, but I want a little bit more control. That's why this stamp is so good. And that looks good, but you know me, I have to add a couple of patterns. This is my very favorite washi tape right now. Just a line of it across the center. And this stripe of pattern paper, which is all I have left of a current favorite paper. I'll just trim it into a little flag, and it has a bit of shading on one edge. So I'll just use my stylist sponge to apply color to the rest of the edges. Now I'll just attach it. A little bit of glue stick. and then trim the excess paper off. And look how this looks. So let's add a sentiment. I'm using the banner from the Easy Rosettes Cut Up Die and cutting a piece of orange paper. Next, the sentiment. The sentiments from our Simply Said Sentiments stamp set 
say that five times fast, and the sentiments fit perfectly on the banner. I think I'll use the just because. Ink up with a bit of versifying Spanish moss. And I think I'll add the flowers from the Simply Said Sentiments set. Done. Now let's put everything together. Fold a four and a quarter by eight and a half piece of white cardstock in half. And apply foam tape to the back of the watercolor paper. I think I'll add a little bit of foam tape in the center just for a little bit of strength. There we go. Pretty. Now I'll add the wreath. Just some little bits of foam tape on the back of the flowers. There. Now the hard part, taking the backing off the, the bits of foam tape. I don't know about you, but my foam tape backing always likes to stick everywhere. I don't want it to be two more. Okay, now let's apply that to the front of the card. And I've already added some foam tape to the back of the banner the sentiments is on. I'm going to just attach that to the front of the card. Sweet! Watercolor solution. I hope you give it a try. And remember, all products are found at the Cat's Pajamas. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and like this video. Have a great day.